How's it going, Flare Fishing fam? Now today we are going ice fishing. Now, what you guys saw the last video was probably me in Washington steelhead fishing with Rob, which was a great, great time, but I'm back in Nebraska for just a couple days, and then I'm headed off to Kansas, and then Missouri, and then, no, Kansas City, Missouri, and then Texas, but anyways, right now I am going to enjoy what is last left of winter, which is a little bit of ice fishing. But before this video starts, I want to say huge thanks to Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring this video. Without them, what I do would not be possible. Now, I've partnered with them actually on that John Boat project. You guys know I'm building a John Boat. They are going to help me make the sickest John Boat on planet Earth. That is, that's the plan right now is to do that. But today we're not working on the John Boat. Today we're actually going ice fishing. Now, if you guys do not know what Dollar Shave Club is, it is a grooming brand dedicating to help Helping guys out like myself and most likely like you guys. I mean, I know I have a few ladies out there watching, but this is this one's for the guys, all right? So they are a dedicated brand to helping men groom themselves. Now, if you're like me, you know, you go in the store, there's a trillion razors on the wall, and you don't even know what to get. You know, you ask the clerk, they don't know what's going on, you don't know what's going on. See, Dollar Shave Club, they make it easy. They send this stuff directly to your house. There's no guessing games, they send you the best stuff out there. Now you might be thinking, flare it's just razors what's the big deal no you're wrong it is not just razors okay today for a limited time and for new members only you can get their shower and shave package for just five dollars when you go to dollarshaveclub.com slash flare now what do you get in this package you might ask you get executive razors you get three trial size packages of body wash shave butter and one wipe charlie's butt wipes in your package now the executive razor that you guys get comes with the weighty handle and the cassette cartridges and then after your first month's box you just have to pay a few bucks and you get new razors and you're good to go so again huge thanks to dollar shave club for sponsoring this video and helping me with my boat build because you guys know I'm building a boat and I want it to be the sickest John boat on planet Earth and Dollar Shave Club is going to step up and help me do that. So huge thanks to those guys. But right now, like I said, I'm going ice fishing. I gotta go pick up some stuff and I might have to run to like Walmart or something and buy something, something kind of special for you guys. You just, you just wait. All right, we uh, made it to good old fashioned Walmart. That's always a, uh, an essential. God, it's windy out here. Why is it so windy today? Pet fish? Am I getting a pet, am I getting a pet fish? No, not today. That's another video. We gotta go to the garden center. Let's see if they have what I'm looking for. Oh baby. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, I can I could do I could do 147. Ooh, 88. We're getting better. We are getting better. I kinda like that. That might see the issue is getting into my truck. Not not a hundred percent. Not 100% sure I'm gonna be able to get it in my truck. Cause I've got the topper and I got a bunch of other stuff in there right now. But, let's see what else they got. They got these guys, I don't, no I don't want that. I need, I think this, what does this thing look like? Is this any good? Ooh, okay, okay. I like it. I have absolutely no idea if this is going to work. None. I have a feeling it's not. I feel like I don't have enough room in my truck. I might have just spent 200 and however many dollars that was on something that literally can't even take it. Can't take it with me. I'm just going to have to leave it here and tell them. Sorry. Alright, let's take, let's take this out first. Now the question is... Okay, so can we lay it on top of that? Yeah, I think we can just go with this. Oh, that's perfect. That's what I that's what I wanted. Are you tight on that end? Uh, yeah. Oh, we're barely, we barely barely missing it like that much. It's stuck on this. I think it'll feel like turn to the side. Yeah, if you put one in. in uh, is that, uh, oh, like that? Oh, yeah. that's Oh! Oh, it's gotta be close. Really good shape. Find a brand new grill, we're good to go. Perfect! Perfect! Yes! That's what we need! Alright. Oh, oh, 
all the knobs. Well, I don't know how safe this thing is, but I mean, we're just gonna we're just gonna roll with it, looking like that. We'll see how it goes. This could quite possibly be one of the stupidest things I've ever done. That took an hour, literally an hour. And the grill, if you didn't see what happened when I was loading that grill up with the Walmart dude, not saying it's his fault, but that thing is 100% broken. Like, there's no way that this grill is gonna work. There's absolutely no way. Parts were falling everywhere. I mean, it was an absolute disaster, but it's 11 o'clock. I was supposed to be at the lake at 11. I'm like 40 minutes away, so we're going to head there. If I unload this grill and use it, I don't know if I'm going to want to put it back in my truck. This is, oh, this, hopefully you guys are enjoying. Smash that like button. Well, made it to the lake. Meat and milk in here. Oh, gosh, I, I didn't bring ice cleats. And this whole, well, pretty much the entire state of Nebraska is covered in ice right now, but I'm going to leave the grill in my truck bring my fish and stuff. Once we catch fish, I'm bring it. But you guys saw what it was like trying to get that grill back in my truck. So I'm not gonna take it out unless it's absolutely necessary. But I'm pretty optimistic. I think we're gonna catch some fish. Should be good. Oh yeah, and I'm doing a meetup uh, this Saturday, February 24th at Rogers in, it's like by Kansas City. It's like north northeast of Kansas City. So if you're by Rogers, I will drop the address down below. Come, come check it out from two to five. I'll be there and uh, favorite will be there it'll be it'll be a good time so make sure you're there if you're in the area of kansas city yeah let's uh what do you say we catch some fish oh we need to it's been a disaster so far that's good that's good oh yeah that's water all right look at this you guys haven't seen this this year it's an ice hut i have not fished in an ice hut this year and i didn't fish in one last year i don't fish in ice huts very often when the wind chill is single digits, <laughs> we're gonna see if we can jig up crappie, bluegills, bass, catfish, trout. There's a lot of options. So when we when we set the hook on something, Lord knows what it's gonna be. Yep, there's there one. Is. Yeah, those are some pecker head bites there. Got him. Got him. Got him. What do we got? Is it is it cook worthy? Cook worthy. Is it catch and cook worthy. Catch and cook. Oh. Oh, yeah. I'll eat it. Bluegill. I will. That works. I will 110% eat that thing. Right. I think your grill's big enough for that fish. I think no, huge. honestly, my grill might be a little small, but. Okay. All right, we're on the board. That's not. That's not what I was after, but um, I mean, he's gonna eat, so. Delicious. Oh, I got a bite. Got him. Got a yep. What do we got? Oh, uh oh, we might be talking. Got a polar. We might be talking now, boys. Okay. Decent. Gillian? Decent gill. Okay, get out of the get out of the hole, little guy. Come here, buddy. Well, we got another one. He's he's a touch bigger than the one I just released. He's about the same size as the one that I kept. We're gonna we'll keep him. I mean, I definitely want bigger ones, but we gotta we gotta eat. So we're gonna keep this guy. Oh, oh we, I caught one. He's on. There. He's on. Oh, oh, giant. There we go. That's a giant. That's what, I don't think I'm keeping that. That's one. what we're after, boys. That's yep. There he goes. Got him. Got him. What do we got, boys? Fishing over here. What do we got? Oh, little gill. Little gill. These are like cookie cutter gills. They are. They're all not, the same. Not the not the big ones we're after. I think he's just a touch smaller than the ones I've been keeping. So he's gonna go back. Milliken over here is trying to catch a pet fish. So we're both on the struggle bus right now. We don't want these gills. That's not what we came here for. Nope. We oh, we got a keeper. Got a bluegill. That's a, that's a keeper gill that's, there, son. That's going on your grill. That's going on the old grill? Uh, gill grill, okay. Oh, I got a bite. Oh, gosh. Get I got one. I got one. Get I got one. Oh, I don't know what this gill? is. I don't know what this is. 
Uh oh, he's fighting. Is that another trout? He's fighting. He's fighting. It might be another trout. It might be another trout. Oh, it is a trout! It's a trout! Yes! Yes! That's what I came here for, boys. Oh, right in the roof of the trout mouth. On the Barbie. Look at that. Oh god, these things are so freaking slimy. The the, the GoPro is not gonna great. These are rainbow trout, by the way, in case you guys were wondering. Totally not natural. They're totally stock. But uh, that dude's going on the grill, son. Woo! This is a Nebraska brute-looking trout, baby. Woo! All right, toss her on the grill. Okay. Oh, perfect. Uh oh, we got a grill, folks. We got a grill. Excuse me, sir. Did, uh, did someone order a grill? Let me get the old propane hooked up here. Oh, we got flames, boys. It works. It works. Yeah. Dude, we got three burners. We got, we're got. we going to go for a four. Dude, we got all four burners going. Talk about some heat, boys. Who needs a heater when you got a big ass grill? All right, right here, baby. You're gonna get some chest mount action. So first things first, stick your knife right down here below the uh, their last little little fin here. Stick it right in there. And then you want to just slice from tail to head, right down the center. Nice and slow, even cut. Trout are the easiest fish to clean, in my opinion. These are, I used to clean these all the time when I was a kid. This is pretty much the only thing I knew how to clean. It's still the only thing I really know how to clean. Kinda. We'll see. So now, it's looking like this. I know this lighting sucks, guys. I'm sorry. But these are all the guts. So, you just want to take these guys out. And you don't want to put these in the lake, because you can't do that. So you just want to put them in like a little little bag. I got a little trash bag over there. I'll stick these guys in. Alright. Everything's in the bag right there. Now we just do this. And you just chop its head off. Straight down to the bottom. You got your nice little, little fish head for your fish head stew. Just run my thumb like this. Push it all out, and then you just wanna you just wanna rinse her out, and you're good to go. All right, look at that. We got well, it was at 400. Now it's down because I just opened it, and checked on it. But they've been cooking for about 10 to 15 minutes. They're back up to 30. check this out. Woo, baby! Look at that. Look at that trout. Oh, so good. Look, look at all this. This is how I cooked them. So left the left the skin on one side, and then have the meat on the other. This thing is just needs to stop it. You just stop it. And then this, you guys can see, look at this trout. It's just, oh, look at all this meat. Oh, look at all that goodness right there. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Wow, I forgot how good trout is. That's actually really good. That little bluegill action. I don't know if this is how you're supposed to eat fish, but it tastes good. This is actually really good. I used, um, I'll show you what I used. I actually used some uh, Mrs. Mrs. Dash uh, lemon pepper. That was really good. Wow, this is like, I don't know, I've never cooked fish like this before. I just kind of went out on a, on a limb here, but. Look at that, fresh off the skin. Delicious bluegills, delicious trout. Really good, milking, there's plenty for you. Okay, I gotta come see this. <laughs> got, some, got some trout for you. Dude, that looks good. It's good. I'll try, try it. Try it. I'll try it. You gotta try some. Dude, that's it's not, money. It's, it's even not, cooked. It's, even, it's actually cooked, I know, right? Tastes like trout. Boom. Done. Money. Money. Love it. Good stuff. Look at that lonely little grill out here. What's this girl doing out here? This is crazy. Full size grill, out ice fishing. Just stupid. Just, just stupid. I gotta take this thing home now. I don't even need this thing, but I'm gonna keep it anyway because I bought it. Oh, the wind's taking it. Oh, the wind's taking it. Oh, oh, is it gonna stop? Is it gonna, oh, we're good. We're good. Oh, all right, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Wow, that was a lot of work. Where are my keys? 
And we are good to go. Oh my goodness, that was so much work with that stupid grill. Oh, I didn't even need it, but I figured, you know, you guys, I mean, I've made a few catch and cooks this year. You guys seem to obviously enjoy them. They get a ton of use, and uh, and so I wanted to make another one, but I was like, what can I do that's different? And I was like, use a full-sized grill that you would have in your backyard. I haven't seen anybody do it, and uh, and I, 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 I now I see why no one does it, because for one, uh, it is just massive, and two, it's just, it's just so much work bringing that out there with with the propane and whatever, but it was worth it. It was totally worth it. It was totally cool. Uh, just something to mix up, you know, basically did it for your guys' enjoyment and uh, for your viewing pleasure of watching me be an idiot and try to fit that thing in my truck and uh, and cook on it and whatnot. But it was a good time. I had a great time with Milken. He actually did a pet fish video. He caught he caught a fish and is keeping it as a pet. So I'll leave his channel link down below if you guys want to check that out and uh, and see what his video turns out like. But that's that's pretty much my video. Uh, the plans for the rest of the week, guys. I am going ice fishing the next three days in a row. So um, you're gonna see a lot more ice fishing. Pretty much the la my last little run before the end of the season is pretty much what I'm going after right now. Um, I'm gonna target a different species tomorrow too. Not a catch and cook, but just a real big, real big critter is what I'm gonna be going after tomorrow. So look forward to that video. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up. And uh, and remember, if you guys like Dollar Shave Club, you wanna try it out, make sure you use my uh, my URL. It'll be linked down below. You guys can check it out. Really appreciate them helping me out on these videos, making it possible and making the sickest John boat of all time. And you guys will see a video about that pretty soon too. Anyways, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace.